He could play everything from a gentle lover in Jean-Luc Godard's Contempt play. to an angry businessman in Le Sucre. Michel Piccoli found his calling at a young age. Je rends hommage à mes parents qui m'ont quand même dit puisque tu veux faire du théâtre, et ben tu vas aller dans un cours et puis je me suis mis à travailler comme un fou. Le point du jour was one of his first roles. Director Louis Daquin gave him a second part in 1949. Then in the 60s, Michel Piccoli turned to the small screen here as the notorious seducer Don Juan, although offset he was married to celebrated singer Juliette Greco. Cinema was calling him, though, thanks to director Claude Sauté, who cast him in The Things of Life and Vincent François Paul and the others. <laughs> Never afraid of rocking the boat, Piccoli gravitated towards more challenging roles. Qu'est-ce que c'est que de vivre? Je crois qu'il faut être provocateur. J'aime tous les gens qui bougent avec une infinie volupté et une infinie violence. The actor was forthcoming with his political opinions, marching against the war in Vietnam and the military dictatorships in Latin America, and showing his support for François Mitterrand and Lionel Jospin. Later, he embodied an aging pope for director Nanny Moretti. His last on-screen appearance was in 2014. After seven decades as a giant of theatre and film, Michel Piccoli took his final bow at 94 years old. Comme je sais que je n'irai ni au paradis ni en enfer, je n'ai aucune inquiétude. <laughs>